वेलकम टू केमिस्ट्री लाभार एंड आफ्टर आ लंग डेज आई एम बैक उथ माई एक्चुअल सेट आप एंड आई रियलि लाभ दिस सेट आप टू शूट भिडिओज फर यू एंड आई होप दैट यू उल अल्सो एनजय दिस भिडियो सो एज आई डिसकस अबाउट द एस्टर हाइड्रोलिस रिएक्शन इन साम भिडिओज बैक सो दैट्स वाई आई थट दैट उ नीड अ क्यूक कन्सेप्ट चेक एंड दैट्स वाई दिस इज द कोश्चन which is based on the ester hydrolysis and this will revise your concept of ester hydrolysis how you understood the mechanisms so here you have given two compounds this simple uh, ethyl ester of benzoic acid and then we introduced a nitro group at ortho or para position of this ring you can also introduce it to the meta position of the benzene ring so in general we introduce some nitro group in the benzene ring of the same compound so we have two compound compound 1 and compound 2 now the mcq question is say, saying that the order of rates of this two reaction what will be the order so in first option they said that in acid catalysis reaction so first of all this uh, two reactions are hydrolyzed in both acid and base condition so it is saying that in acid catalysis reaction rate of hydrolysis of 1 is faster than 2 in option b it is saying that in base catalyzed reaction rate of option 2 is higher than option 1 in option c it is saying that in acid catalysis reaction both uh, rate of um, molecule 1 and 2 of ester hydrolysis is same and in option d it is saying that the rate of base catalyzed hydrolysis is faster for 2 and slower for 1 so this is a multiple selective type question and you can have more than one answers to be correct right so in general if you have to find out the rate of order or the order of a particular reaction then you have to know which is the rate determining step of the reaction so first we should know that which mechanism is followed by these two molecules for the ester hydrolysis and then we will find that what is the rate determining step so you should know that both of this molecule they are very simple molecule and they will follow the bac2 and ac2 mechanism now if you don't know about bac2 and ac2 mechanism i will uh, request you to visit my uh, previous video which is where i discussed the ester hydrolysis in general and in detail right so i will write down the mechanism of bac2 mechanism in general so let's say you have a aromatic ring or in general any uh, any substituent you can have and this is your ester right so in bac2 uh, reaction what happens so in this case it is the base molecule or the hydroxide that will first attack on this carbonyl group to give you this tetrahedral intermediate right so this is the tetrahedral intermediate and in the next step this o minus come back and this oat oat goes so you have this ar co uh, oh right so this is the mechanism so this is step 1 and this is step 2 so you have to find out which one is the rate determining step now attack on this carbonyl group this is slower step because as soon as this tetrahedral intermediate forms it will immediately collapse right so this step 1 is the rate determining step here and the attack on the carbonyl group is actually the rate determining step now what happens when you do acid catalyzed reaction is the attack of oh minus is the rate determining step now if you compare between 1 and 2 you will see that in molecule 2 you have nitro group so it doesn't matter where the nitro group is if it is in ortho and para position the, the situation is very good but if it is in meta position also then also will be this ring is electron deficient and this ring is electron deficient means it will withdraw electron from this carbonyl center which will introduce more delta positive charge over here and as more delta positive charge is accumulated over here the attack of oh minus will be faster that's why molecule 2 will undergo a faster uh, ester hydrolysis reaction in base catalyzed reaction so this option 2 will be correct that in base catalyzed reaction 2 is faster than 1 and that's why this one will be wrong option because it is saying that 1 is faster than 2 now let us talk about acid catalyzed reaction what will happen in acid catalyzed reaction so again we have to find out the uh, mechanism of acid catalyzed hydro hydro hydrolysis reaction or ac2 mechanism so what is the mechanism here 
so in this case if you have this simple ester molecule the first step of this reaction is actually the protonation at this carbonyl group which will give you this so this is the protonation and in the next step water molecule will actually attack over here and then you will have this OH uh, this OH2 plus and then this OH then finally you will have another two steps and you will get this right so here you have this is step one and this is step two right now this step one will be very faster because you are doing the reaction in acid medium there are a lot of H plus molecules so protonation step will be very, very faster so it will be the fastest step now this attack of water on this carbonyl group here again so every in every case in every mechanism of ester hydrolysis the attack of the nucleophile that is the attack of water or attack of OH minus that is the rate determining step so here this step 2 is the rate determining step now if you compare between the protonated form of this and protonated form of this right so in the protonated form it will be more likely so it will the structure will be more likely this right so positive charge will be here and here also this will open and that's how we can draw another resonating form and that is here so this resonating form is more general in the protonated form of these two molecules now if you have a bare positive charge in both cases so it is a actual positive charge in both cases carbocation like structure so in carbocation like structure if you introduce a nitro group there will be no much difference between this and this because it is already a cat, uh, carbocation in carbocation your OH, uh, water molecule will attack fast in every cases it doesn't matter whether you introduce a nitro group or not because the effect of nitro group in withdrawing the electron is very less when you are considering a carbocation but it is prominent when you are considering the uh, electron withdrawal from a neutral species so that's why in case of acid catalyzed reaction the rate difference will be not that much high and this option c will be the correct answer which is saying that in acid catalyzed reaction both one and two will almost show the same rate so this is the wrong answer so in this multiple selective question this option c and option b are the correct answers i hope that you understood the concept if you have any queries let me know in the comment section i will try to clear it if you like this video share this video with your friends give a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe this channel thank you for watching